This is David from Innerbike TV, and here at Innerbike, we see a lot of trends. One of the trends we see every year is the wide variety of nutrition and hydration products. We thought we'd give you an overview of some of the companies that are here showing off their nutrition and hydration to give you the choice of which brand you might be most interested in. Let's go take a look. We're in the fluid booth. We're talking to Richard. Richard, tell us a little bit about the company. Well, um, Fluid was created as part of a uh, senior project at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, actually in our kitchen about five years ago. We were uh, um, strong advocates of sports science and very eager enthusiasts uh, of learning, and we're discovering some great information coming to light about sports nutrition. And uh, we saw an opportunity to create it right then and there and share it with friends and family we thought would be of value. And so we, we just uh, started right then and uh, took the company full-time, full steam ahead in January 2008, um, specializing in muscle recovery nutrition. So, um, undergraduate project or graduate project, and what were you studying? It, it was a combined project. Um, my undergrad was in exercise physiology, mm -hmm. and uh, my, my friend and uh, former partner was in nutritional biochemistry. Mm -hmm. And so as co-founders, we had this strong passion for um, integrity in sports science and for developing new products, pushing the envelope, and, and challenging the greater industry to step up to some of the latest information. Speaking of challenges, what was the specific challenge that you were trying to address when you created the product? Originally for us, um, recovery nutritional information was just coming to light. The addition of protein in sports drinks mm -hmm. and the uh, anti-inflammatory uh, advantages of having protein in sports drinks, um, specifically for muscle recovery. And so when we looked at what was available, you, because of the addition of protein, you tend to find things that don't taste as good. They tend to have a chalky taste, a milky taste, uh, they spoil quickly. Uh, they also tend to be very expensive. And so because of these, these barriers, um, just didn't seem to be something very prevalent. People weren't taking advantages, uh, uh, advantage of this information. Mm -hmm. And um, that was something we thought we could go head to head with. We could, we could make a better, cleaner product and people would benefit from it. So what's the breakthrough in your product and, and really what makes you stand out from the competition? Um, number one, our, our products are enjoyable. They, uh, they just are, between our flavors, we spend a lot of time working on the ride, you know, on the, on the experience. Uh, they have to taste good going down. Um, you know, we always liken things to a bicycle. You know, no matter what its facts and features and benefits are, you, if you enjoy the ride, yeah, that's what it really comes down to. Now, nutrition is a whole nother ballgame because not only do you have to enjoy the ride, but it's going into your body. It's something that, you know, it's a sacred place for a lot of people. So. Um, we had to make them enjoyable and with extremely quality uh, nutrition like components where we hand select the vendors from. So I'd say that's the first and foremost thing is ease of use and enjoyability. Um, second thing is, like I mentioned, across the board, we spared no expense in ingredients. When you use cheaper ingredients, you can taste it. You can taste film, you can taste grit, you can taste, you know, mix as well, uh, things that are noticeable. Um, third, a lot of companies will sell a belief system rather than data. Uh, because it's harder to produce right in front of somebody. They can, they can do a bottom bracket test, you can do a wheel test, you can test these things and people can see the difference. With nutritionals, it has a lot to do with how you feel. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of companies will sell a belief, say, well, this is good for you, this is bad for you, rather than here's what the evidence here is saying, this is what the data is saying. And so, as for, you know, advocates of the bike industry, friends of the bike industry, we felt like we need to, and, and scientists, we need to stay more parallel with the scientific data. So everything that's in fluid products, you'll find parallel with the greater scientific community. And then the last thing I think is really unique about us is we focus on your dollar, the value. So you know, it's something you're going to go through, it's something you use a lot. A lot of these protein drinks will cost 30 40 50 dollars a jug and you go through it very quickly so we focus on reducing the cost per serving and reducing the, the price point so all the fluid products retail for between 22 and 30 dollars maximum how many uses in in, in 20 or 30 dollars um, between 16 and 30 uses so we really focus on on value there as well talking about ingredients and people being concerned about what they put in their body what about for vegetarians or celiacs people who are concerned specifically about certain things that they know that their body can't tolerate that's a fantastic question thank you for asking uh, lactose intolerance is extremely prevalent a lot of people develop it it's very natural to develop they don't know or they're not aware that they develop it um, and not all proteins are created equal most whey proteins that are available on the market do have lactose because it's an expensive process to remove it we use a premium uh, whey protein called whey isolate it's government regulated to be lactose free fat free and cholesterol free so what you're left over with is the pure whey protein the other thing we use are gluten free complex carbs um, it's critical because gluten tolerance is extremely common celiac issues are extremely common and even if they're not intolerant to gluten protein 
um, it can be difficult for some people to digest. So we had to remove those barriers for people so they could get the nutrition they need to do what they love. It's really that simple. Nice. Okay, and then the, the question everybody's going to ask is, what flavors does it come in? <laughs> <laughs> well, for our recovery drink line, it comes in delicious berry treasure, tropical escape, and chocolate wave. Uh, very nice, refreshing things to finish your ride with. For our during drink line, we have a blueberry pomegranate, a passion fruit iced tea with caffeine, and a raspberry lemonade. All very, very nice. Great. Where can people get more information? Livefluid.com. Excellent. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.